Good morning. Good Hi morning. Guys, how, how are you? you? Excellent. You've had some remarkable success here lately. And um, actually, I think talked to you about maybe sharing some some of your success stories and, and how you're able to get your houses sold so quickly. Um, so I'll just throw it in your lap, Sophia. Why don't you kind yeah. of help everybody out and, and tell everybody kind of what you've done uh, to make yourself so successful here as of late. Not that you haven't been previously, but <laughs> really successful well, lately. <laughs> certainly tuning into you guys and your team is a big benefit, <laughs> showing me the way as we go. Uh, yeah, just doing the basics. I mean, we're putting out our ads on Facebook, running a campaign in 12 different states. The leads come in from there, about maybe one or two a day. And as you know, a lot of them aren't good. And, you know, you kind of have to sort through them. So that is the mm -hmm. one, one way that we're getting leads. The second one is we're using uh, two counties with the Ron Legrand team there through his gold club site. So mm -hmm. I picked an area in Tennessee where we already have a property to make it a little bit easier, uh, and also Florida where I live. So that's been helpful too. So basically three flows coming in. Um, just old basics, you know, picking up the phone, not being afraid, um, and reading the opening call script. Uh, from there, you know, suspect or prospect, move forward from there. And the uh, last one we did was a... a seller in Kentucky, Viper, Kentucky, a little cute house. Uh, so we took it over subject to the debt. And then we just advertised. We closed on it quickly. Mm -hmm. So get the deed or get the door, right? Yeah. We didn't, we didn't have a lease purchase tenant lined up yet, but I put the advertising out there with my assistant and we had a lot of people interested. I so I knew it was going to be okay. And at the end of the day, the mortgage was only $340. So I figured that wouldn't break us if we didn't find the perfect tenant yet. Sure. So, well, the ironic kind of funny thing is we closed on that on Friday, this past Friday. And the same day, we got a really quality call from a lease purchase tenant. So we moved forward with them and we got them lined up on the same day we closed it. So I guess it was worth it to take that risk, you know, so. Right. Now, what specific marketing did you do to find that tenant buyer? Yeah, that one was a Facebook ad a campaign that uh, we pay for that campaign. I'm running it about $35 a day. Mm -hmm. And it's just the basic ad that, you know, Blair shows us and Abdul helps us with standard with the little emojis in it. I found that when I put the emojis in it, that helped out a lot. Like more sellers were likely to click on my um, get a quote button than when it was just all words. So we changed that recently and that helped out a lot. And did you have a lot of uh, potential tenant buyers respond to that ad or did you just get lucky and get one and they were perfect? No, tons of them. We uh, put it on Zillow for $9 a week is what they charge as a, as a rental on Zillow listing now. And mm -hmm. we just had, oh my God, probably 10 to 12 people a day that were asking about that property. So the, the rent in the area was about 800. So that's what I put it at. I probably should have raised it a little bit because there's so much activity on it. Yeah, rents are definitely going up, everybody. For everybody else's benefit out there, there's uh, a big spike in rents and there's some negotiation going on. Rents are actually being bid up in a large chunk of a swath of the country now because there's just not enough rental properties available. But mm -hmm. uh, tell us about, you know, the, the buyer you had, the tenant buyer, uh, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of quality were they? Any idea, you know, how good their credit was? their background, kind of give us, a, you know, what was that avatar? What would that look like without giving yeah, us? Yeah, so we use screenthetenant.com to do that uh, for us. They have, a, they're a married couple. She's an accountant and he is currently laid off. They live in Florida and they've been wanting to move to Kentucky. The house is like in the mountains. So you kind of have to want to have that kind of thought process to live in the mountains. But now with everything that's happening with our country, a lot of people are heading to the mountains. So we had a lot of interest. <laughs> so that was easy. Um, I like them because they're a little bit older. They're in their 50s to 60s. Um, and like her with her accounting business, she can pick that up and do that remotely anywhere. So of course, we looked at bank statements and background checks and all that. And um, she, I think once he gets employed again, they'll have the ability to cash it out. Um, but at the end of the day, I'll do everything I can to help him. But 
like Ron says, and you guys, I, I mean, I want to sit it and forget it. You know, I don't really care if they ever exercise that or not. I'd rather just keep the property. It's cute. So that's awesome. That is, that is awesome. So you were happy with uh, how that all ended out, ended up for you. Yeah. And I just told my assistant, we're going to go market right there in that area now in Viper, Kentucky, because there's so many lease purchase tenants that we have now waiting. So we'll go ahead and make it easier on ourselves. So that's nice. Nice. So give us a sense when you have, you say you have a lot of potential tenant buyers there. What, what's that look like? Is that 10, 20, 500? What is that? Um, well, I, they were probably coming in for a week. We had it listed maybe, boy, six to eight a day, I would say. And we just got four calls today and we already took it off Zillow yesterday. That's awesome. Yeah. So a lot That's of people awesome. are looking. So I, I wouldn't be afraid, you guys, to go ahead and lock up a, a property that you want to use your exit strategy to lease option it out because there's tons of people. The only thing I'd be careful of is to do that background check to make sure that they don't owe anything with their current landlord and they're not just trying to escape from a bad situation and come on over to you. <laughs> That's right. the only thing I was worried about. Yeah. So we checked that out. That was fine. They're actually going to pay their current. This is how cool this is. They're actually going to pay their current landlord until January when their lease is up, but still take ours because I said, well, ours is available now. We are looking to put someone in it right away and we got a lot of interest. So Mm -hmm. I use that sense of urgency to lock these guys up right away with a thousand dollar hold fee, uh, which we got last week. So nice. Excellent. Well, thank you for your input. Any last words uh, for the, the folks who are just kind of starting down this path since you've you're kind of a pro been there, done that, that <laughs> t-shirt type I'm deal. And still all that learning. Stuff. I just think that, you know, my mindset is every day is to pick up the phone. That phone is my friend, um, master caller me. Um, I'm now training my assistant to do this. So it's really, that's where you make your money is on the phone. Follow your mm -hmm. scripts. So every day I have to connect with 10 sellers and have a meaningful conversation. 10. And I don't care if it takes an hour or two hours, but we have like a little chart and we have to mark it off that we spoke to at least 10 and got through the whole script and when they're either a yes or a no and honestly i feel if you're not doing that at least five days a week you're not doing your job so right that's the bottom line you can fool yourself all you want but 10 a day will get you deals at least awesome. two a month you know so well thank you very much for your yeah. input and, and sophia's yeah, last point here is is right on it's what goes into your wallet or your purse is directly related to what comes out of your mouth and you you got to do that thing and, and as Sophia just told you and is like Nick for example will tell you it's you just got to get on the phone dial and smile that's what it's all about 